All right, everyone, we are going to look at Elon. So Dojalon Mars, I think Dojalon really wants to come back to save me. Uh, I've pointed this out in the past, how if we just zoom out and look at the macro picture of what is going on with Elon, we do have this volume area down here. This is where our green box is representing, and you can see we do have some Fibonacci levels down here from 5.1 up to about 7.1. So is there a chance Elon comes down here? There is, in my opinion. I'm not saying it's going to happen. It would be nice if it did, but... Uh, we're going to zoom in here in just a moment, but just notice that after this run up out of that volume, how we had this clear support area and this uh, where you see this 236 at and then it acted as resistance, resistance, resistance for what you could say a double top here on this larger time frame. So with that being said, the momentum is clearly down on Elon and the rest of the market right now. So could we get Elon to drop all the way back down to that volume area? That is about... Anywhere from a 50 to a 65% drop down into this box here. Uh, that would be the dream uh, buy-in price, in my opinion, for Dojalon Mars here. I don't think it's going to happen, uh, but it's nice to, to dream. But, you know, if it does, then so be it. Elon's going to save the bull run for me because I'm going to absolutely load up on some Elon if it comes down to that volume area. That would be a clear signal to buy in. But with that being said, you can see that from this low here in November, this most recent candle here, this is the three day candles, by the way, that wick broke that low here. So that tells me, along with breaking that low from the low to the high here, we lost the 382. We just took out the 0.5 support at five or one five rather. It looks like the price is coming down to a 618 and potentially a 786 retracement. So we are looking for Elon right now. If you're looking to dollar cost average in uh, to drop about 9% to 13.4 and then potentially the 786 here at 114 for a 22% drop. That may be all we get on Elon here, but just take note that this volume area here is your last stop. If you cannot hold this volume area here, potentially staying above your 618, then there is a very good chance that this market structure that is forming here it's telling us that Elon's about to fall off the table. Uh, does it have enough time to do that? I really do not know, but you can see that from where we are right now, if we just continue going down and we fall through that volume area, uh, we could come down uh, about 50%, tag our 1272 at 71, and then that would be the bottom, and then we go right back up, potentially. So I do like the liquidity that Elon does have. It's well known. I do think it's gonna make a really good trade. Uh, I believe we pointed out last time if it goes up from where we are now, you know, there's a potential for a 20 to 40 X on Elon. You know, if it drops down into our next volume area, then that's going to change uh, dramatically there. So I do think Elon's going to make a really good play uh, this bull run. So uh, I'll get it as cheap as I can. And I know you guys will too. So we're just kind of watching it. We'll watch these prices. If it drops lower, so be it. If it comes down here, you know, God help us all, because it's going to be great if that happens. Uh, that is the reason for the thumbnail. Um, Doge Elon Mars, Super Doge, uh, Super Elon's coming back to save us. So we will leave it at that on Elon. Good luck, everyone. Not financial advice. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out.